Okay, so welcome back to the channel. I just want to let you guys know we have brand new merch snapbacks. Uh, we have the camel and we have the black one. They are on the website. Just follow www.realoriginbrand.com and you guys are going to be able to uh, find this one and that one. We also have banners like I mentioned before. We also have jet tags. For those of you supporting the, the brand, thank you guys. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Sending uh, stuff like this all over the US. And I, I have shipped to Dubai and Japan. So I just want to say thank you guys. Always supporting the brand. That being said, let's go. Today we're going to do the F1 diffuser. It's right here. And we also have the 370 fog light. So we're gonna use the brackets. We're gonna need some bolts. I need to go to O'Reilly's, pick them up. And let me show you guys real quick. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but there's some bolts that go over here and they attach to the bumper. So that's what I need. That's all I'm missing right now. So we are ready to put this on the G35. We are going to add the winglets to the diffuser as well and install everything today. I hope I have time and do the 370 fog light if not I'll do that on a separate video for you guys I'm gonna take the G37 I haven't driven this car in a, in a while so let's take the G37 let's head over to the store and pick some bolts all right it's been a while let me do a cold start for you guys We are back from O'Reilly's. We picked up this bolt. I'll give you guys the info in a bit, just so you guys know which ones I got, just in case you guys got the same diffuser. So let me bring the G35 and let me give you the info right now on this ones. All right, so for the hex nuts, uh, I got the 516s. And for the bolts, uh, I got this ones, 516s, 18 times three hex bolts. So that gives me this ones that's what we're gonna be using for this diffuser it's gonna go somewhere in here you're gonna need a drill so yep let me bring the car and start working on this project so this is how the g35 looks check it out so right now we are going to add the diffuser so the best way to do it I will say probably chuck up the car and then that way you can go under the car. And so check it out. I'm gonna lift up the car from uh, the differential, which is right here. I will go ahead and put the jack stands. So let me go ahead and do that right now. This is what they sent. It sent they sent some type of uh, bracket that you can use. So basically with this one, what you can do is just uh, measure how much you wanna cut and then measure where you wanna put the diffuser so it's either, you're gonna have to figure out. I did it on my G37, I have done it on a G35. Trying to measure the diffuser, and then we can go from there. They also sent this, but to be honest, I'd never used them on the G37. They are some type of uh, brackets as well that you can use on here or somewhere. But for me, I didn't use them. I don't know, you guys might wanna use them, but that's up to you. And when I received my F1 diffuser for the G37, they sent bolts and everything. Now all I got was this. So for bolts, I'm gonna have to look around, put some random bolts that I have here. But yeah, let me take out the diffuser. Let me show you guys what I have and we can start doing this install. All right, so this is these are my winglets. So I'm just gonna try to be careful. Don't scratch them. I painted them. Uh, my workplace so they are gloss black 
because they sent this with uh, primer gloss black. Let me remove the other one. Ooh, that was close. We have to remove it from here. Gloss black, ready to go. So check it out. I kind of know, I kind of figured out how this is gonna go. My single exit is touching the diffuser, but we can manage to install this diffuser. As of right now, this is my mark. I mark it over here where the bolt's gonna go. So right now I'm just gonna get a measuring tape where I have the bolt, and then I'm gonna do the same one to this side. So I'm gonna mark my hole, and then try to install first the, the middle holes. And then that way, this is gonna be holding, and then you can go to the back and put the brackets. And that way you're gonna be able to measure everything. But I will show you guys right now. Let me make the hole and measure the other side. Cool. All right, so now that I have my holes marked, now I'm just gonna try to put the bump, uh, the diffuser into the bumper. Uh, make sure where this touches the bumper put my drill and mark the holes on the bumper let's go ahead and do that okay so what I did is put the diffuser on my legs lift it up I got my mark I got my mark over here for the bolt and let me make them bigger that way we can start putting this together all right so this is how it looks right now first uh, we did the bracket let me show you guys where it is it's right there on the back right now i just need to add um the nut in order to attach this and then we're gonna go to the other side and aside from that we can go and start installing the windlets and i don't know if i'm going to have enough time to install the 370 fog light or 370 light check it out i'm just gonna show you guys uh real quick how this is going to look and the reason I'm saying is I don't know if I have enough time is because I spend most of my time looking for bolts uh, and all of that stuff but this goes like this and basically you attach it like that and um, you also need to cut the bumper from the middle because it, it won't let it go in if you guys can tell see it's not going in so we need to cut the bumper but check it out how it's starting to look and that's going to be the diffuser and then we can start um, adding the plate and everything and so far this is how we look but yeah let me figure it out guys um, let me see if I can get enough time and I can go ahead and wire the the fog light for the 370 it's just time consuming trying to find the brackets the bolts and everything so let me finish installing this side and then we go to the other one all right this is how it looks so far let me bring you guys under the car and see because some of you are gonna be asking where did I put the, the bracket and all of that all right so under the car you're gonna have this bolt exposed so what I did is it was a uh, look for a 10 millimeter and a washer Cut a small bracket and then install it over here on the diffuser. Small 10, the bolt's gonna be there already on, on the G35 coupe. And then you're gonna look for a washer and then a bolt and a 10 on the back. So it's super tight due to the exhaust that I have here. So it's like really tight. So that's why I did this small bracket and then this one. And then make sure everything's tight. On this one, I added this one just in case for extra security because uh, this one's like super tight and they might crack the diffuser so what I did it was add another extra uh, bracket put a self tap with the washer me measure this to the diffuser bolt washer and bolt on the back with the washer that way super steady it doesn't move at all diffuser is not gonna go anywhere so for G35 coupe owners, you have this bolt, 10 millimeter uh, nut, washer, and this one. 
extra bracket just for security and that one passenger side if you guys can tell we don't have anything yet but i figured we are going to bolt it on the on the car if you guys can tell it's on the metal so i'm just gonna take this one out put a bracket and bring it all the way down to this one and then lift it up and that should be able to give us a nice bracket for this diffuser all right so for this one what i like to do is just add a double side tape see where i want this put it on the diffuser and then make your holes and put the bolts and nuts so that's the way i do it and make sure it, it's aligned with the driver's side so kind of figure out where you want it and go from there all right we have the first one we have the bolt and nut and washer on the back you guys can tell it's not going anywhere awesome let's go to the driver's side we are going to be taking care of the wiring later on so just put it on like this and double side tape should do its work so I'll go ahead add a little bit down here and good to go all right so this is the finished look with the diffuser uh, it looks amazing to be honest it was either this diffuser or the charge speed and to be honest um, good choice on the G35 coupe if you go with the diffuser and the 370 fog light we still need to wire that fog light so it should be easy but I can make another video how to uh, run the cables all the way to your tail lights which is gonna be attached to some yeah I mean single exit we got the diffuser and it looks amazing now to finish this look on the rear we need to buy a carbon fiber duck bill or I'm curious <laughs> I've always done this to my cars uh, before doing anything else I'll add like a wing and see how that looks so I don't know still deciding some of you hate it some of you like the look with the wing but I don't know yet other than that I'm gonna finish the video right here guys I hope you guys enjoy this um, I wish I could uh, show you step by step but uh, my brother had to work and I couldn't record step by step but I show you guys where the brackets go how to put the winglets how, how to do everything basically like I said I was having trouble with the single exit and we managed to modify it a little bit and it looks good but yeah other than that guys I hope you guys like this uh, drop a comment give it a like and aside from that we need to get the trunk hood wrap this car and hopefully down the road we're gonna swap it so stay updated for that once again guys i'm out i'm gonna hit the gym don't forget to comment like and subscribe and remember anything's possible peace